All right, everybody. I'm going to show you some. Um, so some of you are having trouble seeing the, the Twitter feed and choosing. Uh, you have uh, plenty of options. I'm going to do a redo of a video that was on uh, Periscope. So this is my coloring set. This is where I house all my professional colored pencils. I'll be using these today. You can, you can use whatever colored pencils you want. That is fine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a coloring book. All right. It depends what kind of coloring book you got. So you can see here I was experimenting with markers, see if I couldn't get something. You can see how orange he is. Uh, Try to do some shadowing with him and so forth. The, the Crayola markers are just a little too intense. But what you want to do is you want, and this is, this is pretty good coloring book pages. They're a little bent, but they, you see they're, they're nice and white. They're not like a newsprint, which are off gray. There's some weight to these. So we're going to take Catwoman here. So all you're going to do is you're going to find like a skin tone color. Excuse me. You're going to find a skin tone color, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do something called um, upon a, a cuba, a cubism. You know, Picasso, uh, Duchamp, uh, those classical artists. So what you just want to do is you're just going to create planes. So I'm just going to take my colored pencil, and I'm just going to make some shapes, you know, and create planes on the face and make other shapes from those planes alright and all you doing excuse me all you doing is uh, uh, you're breaking up the space that's all you're doing And once you have the face broken up, I don't know how well you can see that. This seems really light on my computer. But you can see, uh, you're just breaking up the shapes. And then you're going to pick three colors. I want you to pick analogous colors. And analogous colors are colors that are closely related to each other on the color wheel. So like purple, um, red, and like red purple would be the in-between so I'm looking here if I have a different letter we'll just take pink that'll work all right and what you're gonna do from there I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing is you're gonna start shading so what you're gonna do when you color you're gonna color in little bitty circles all right and you're not gonna press hard you start off real light because you can press harder later and get a darker color. So you can see here, it may look like I'm scribbling, but I'm doing little bitty circles to get a blend. And you just want to go from a dark to a light. All right, on the screen you really can't see it. So I'm gonna go a little bit darker to a dark to a light. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. And See, I went from a dark to a light. All right, then you can switch colors. I'm only asking you to do one color per um, geometrical shape. Okay. Oh, stomach is still crazy. I'm crazy here. So, again, dark to a light. I can press down hard anytime that I want, and you want to alternate the colors. All right, may look like I'm scribbling. I should have not be doing this on my table that has a lot of texture. You probably want a nice flat surface that is smooth. And you're just
just changing the intensities from a, a more intense color to a less intense color. And that's how you're going to do the whole thing. And you're going to break up the space and the eyeglasses and so forth. Any coloring book would do if you want to use minions. Use minions. If you want to use whatever, use whatever. Okay? But like a face shot is going to be easiest. Something like that is going to increase difficulty. Because it's got smaller spaces. Go for bigger spaces. Next step. And the same thing, we'll go with this Batman. But this time I want you to layer color. So we're gonna try to color realistically. So you wanna get a flesh tone, all right? And you wanna think about the shape, the face and basic shapes, like the lip here, it's like a little boat. You wanna leave a little bit of the white peeking through. But again, you're gonna color, you're gonna get darker in certain areas. I'm going to get darker on top of the chin, at the bottom of the chin. But inside the chin, I'm going to leave a lighter color. Okay, his nose is hanging down. So I want to get a little darker underneath the nose. A little darkness about the corners of the, the lips there. I'm trying to make this as fast so that uh, you get the gist of it and then you can move on. And then you want to um, get like an offset color. You can see how this is more of a tan. And then you're going to want to go over and lightly add shadow and layer your colors. And this way it will pop. You want to put, and the sun is always up on top. Lights are always up on the ceiling, so your light source should normally come from the top. So if there's something hanging over, like this mask, okay. And I just want you to layer one color. So the bottom of the face is going to need a shadow. Underneath the lip, the lips hanging over is going to need a shadow. And then you'll have a more, it really doesn't show well in this camera a more um, realistic looking piece just layering two colors so if we're doing the cape we could do a blue and a black All right, you have to think about your colors they are going to be closely related to each other a little bit more like analogous colors but you're putting shadow placement so two coloring sheets each one of these are two different assignments or not one assignment so this is counts as one assignment if you get it done and hand it in and this counts as one assignment if you get it done and handed in. There's one more assignment I'm going to show you. I did the instructions, and this is basically it. Okay. You can break it apart after you're done. You can see here how these move. But this is a tea light candle holder and it's made, I ran out of glue. It's made from uh, the little beads and a CD. This is an old CD of mine, see? Um, Adam English, Rocky and Beatles. And all you're doing is you're using hot glue. Notice, there we go, how I got them stacked. I got one here. And then two on top, uh, take one side and the other side, and then same thing, you get here, two on top, take one side and the other side. And you can make a tea light candle holder, you know, see how that is. And these beads you can buy at the Dollar General, I do believe these CDs you can buy at the Dollar General, or you can use one of your mom's old CDs, uh, or your dad's old CDs, or your sister's old CDs, make sure you get permission. You can see here that I got glue in between. So then you're gonna use a hot glue gun. You might need mom or dad's help. And then you're just stacking them like bricks. 
and you can change the colors you can have more than one color I only have one color and then you're gonna go all the way around the CD and stack it up any way that you see fit then you can get a tea light holder and if you light holders done And with your mom and dad's permission, you can use these for like um, the deck. If you guys are outside barbecuing, you can make a whole bunch of them, be very decorative. And then you just light the tea light candle and boom, there you go. So remember, you light it with your parents' permission. Uh, this could be a wonderful um, decorative thing for Mother's Day. Uh, you can also, you know, like I said, you could make a whole bunch of these, put them out in the deck for ambiance for your parents. Something nice for you to do. So, these are the three. These are three different assignments. Good luck.